Behold, the Ferris wheel. But where did it come from? Meet George Ferris, born in Illinois in 1859. George started out as an engineer and graduated from the Rensselaer Polytechnical Institute in Troy, New York. Originally, he specialized in building steel frames for tunnels and bridges. However, when the World's Columbian Exhibition of 1893 rolled around, Ferris aimed big. He wanted to build something that could rival the Eiffel Tower, which was built for the Paris Exhibition of 1889. His answer? The Ferris wheel. Originally, George called his invention the observation wheel. The wheel resembled the wheels you'd see on a bicycle. It had spokes radiating from the axle to reinforce the shape and stability of the wheel. Although people had previously designed smaller, similar contraptions out of wood, George's design was different in several important ways. First, it was huge. The supporting towers were almost 150 feet high, and the wheel itself was 264 feet high. Second, it used much more steel. At the time, the axle was the largest piece of steel ever made in the United States. It weighed 46 and a half tons. Between 40 to 60 people could ride in each of the wheel's three dozen gondolas, as its twin 1,000-pound steam engines pushed the massive ride through several revolutions. Over the course of the exhibition, over one million people rode on the Ferris wheel. And as imitators sprung up across the states, this iconic ride became a vital part of amusement parks across the world.